in this video we are going to prove that square root of 2 is an irrational number. Now before we prove that we will just recall what is a rational number. A rational number is a number which can be expressed in a form of p upon q okay where both p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. To prove this what we are going to assume is assuming a contradictory situation. So let's say for example root 2 is rational. So we will assume that this is rational okay and when we are unable to prove that this is a rational number that would mean effectively it's an irrational number because rational and irrational number together form the entire horizon of numbers right so if root 2 is rational then what that implies is that root 2 can be written as a upon b okay these could be any of the numbers right in such a manner that for a and b both a and b are co-prime now what are co-prime? Co-prime means that the highest common factor of two numbers in our case a and b is 1. Right? So if root 2 is rational then root 2 can be written as a upon b where a and b are co-prime. Now if I square both these sides okay, we will get 2 is equal to a square upon b square cross multiplying you will get 2b square is equal to a square. Now if you notice in this particular case a square is written as 2 multiplied by b square. Now if the value of a square is 2 multiplied by b square what that means is that a square is an even number. Right? Because if a number is multiplied by 2 if the value of the number is multiplied by 2 equal to multiplied by 2 then it has to be an even number right so if I have to assume for a minute so let's say I say a the value of a square could be equal to 2 times uh, m square 2m okay m could be any number but because a square is equal to 2 times multiplied by some number so a square is an even number even number can be obtained only by multiplying 2 by some other number and that other number I'm assuming as m if I substitute this value 2m in this particular equation, what will I get? What I get is that a square was equal to 2b square, right? Or in other words, 2 times b square. So what we have over here is that a square is equal to 2b square or in other words 2b square can be written as 2 times b square is equal to 2 times 2m whole square. Or in other words, we have 2b square is equal to a square. Now if you notice, a square can be written as 2 times b square. Right? Or in other words, the value of a square can be obtained by multiplying b square by 2. Which means what? Whenever the value of any number can be obtained or is equal to a multiplication of 2 with some other number we say that the value of a square is even right now if there is an even number a square by the theorem which we learned earlier that you know if there is a prime number which in our example is 2 and it divides any given number which is let's say x square then 2 would also divide x 
right? The implication for this here is that if a square is an even number, or in other words, a can be divided, a square can be divided by two, then the value of a is also divisible by two, right? Effectively meaning that a can be written as a multiple of two times some other number. Let's call that number as m. Now, if a is equal to 2m, then we can write that 2b square is equal to a square, or in other words, 2m square, which is 4m square. So, 2b square is equal to 4m square, or in other words, b square is equal to 2m square. And what we get from this is that even b, okay, is divisible by 2. Why? Because again, applying the same logic that if 2 divides up x square, okay, then 2 also divides x. In other words, b is also divisible by 2. Now, if this was a rational number, root 2 was a rational number which we had expressed as p a and b, then a and b should have been co-prime, meaning their HCF should have been 1. But what we have noticed is that even a and b, both of them are divisible by 2, meaning that they have another factor, which is 2, which cannot be true if root 2 was rational, right? Therefore, we say that square root of 2 is an irrational number.